Next we will see the expression for elastic potential energy. This elastic potential energy, so we should take elastic body to execute the energy. So let us take a spring. The spring is initially freely hanged. Next it is connected to a mass. The first diagram, the second diagram is like this. Next it is connected to a mass. Once it is connected to a mass, when it is suspended like this, we will see the oscillations of the spring. Oscillations is nothing but to and fro. So where it is fro, it is said to be expansion to compression. That means it will oscillate like this. It is the expansion maybe. We are showing in dotted lines because it is the expansion. It is not the original position of the spring. It is expanding within the limits. Next it is compressed again. Like this. In this case, this is the original distance or original length of the spring. Once it is expanded, it was expanded up to here. Let us take this one as some x, f, final position. Next it is compressed, let us say this is x, i because it is coming to the initial position. The force which results this expansion and compression under the applying of load is said to be gravitational force. But this gravitational force should be overcome by a force within the spring. That force is called restoring force. Because of the restoring force, the spring can able to do the to and fro oscillations and again it is coming to the initial position. If restoring force is not acted in the spring, the spring will be in compressed motion or in the expansion mode. So, restoring force is the key role. Let us take the restoring force F is equal to minus Kx. So what is the work done in this compression to the expansion of the spring? Therefore, let us take the small displacement this is from Xi to Xi, SF under the load applied. Therefore, the work done dW is equal to F dot dx. Total work done. Integral dW is equal to integral f dot dx. The positions xi to xf. We know that f is equal to minus kx. If it is restoring force, we can write at fr. So therefore, w is equal to integral minus kx dx xi to xf. If you wrote minus k outside, it is integral x dx xi to xf, therefore it is minus k into xf square by 2 minus xi square by 2. Because integral x dx is x square by 2. This x square by 2 under the limits xi to xf. So this will be half k x i square minus half k x f square. So the general expression is half k x square. So what we can understand whether the body is acting under the restoring force work done is half k x square. The work done in these type of bodies is stored in a form of potential energy. This potential energy is called elastic potential energy. In our textbook, this question was given as work done by a force or spring. So what is the work done by a spring? 
to do the oscillations under the to and fro motion under the influence of gravitational and restoring force it is written as potential energy which potential energy it is elastic potential energy where half is the constant where k is the spring constant x is the displacement like this we can derive the elastic potential energy formula also next the concept is kinetic energy so what is a kinetic energy what we can think about it if the body is in rest its velocity is zero suppose if a force is applied on the body this body will move forward by increase in the velocity whenever the body is under the motion it is moving with the velocity so the energy possessed by a body by virtue of its motion is called kinetic energy the energy possesses by a body by virtue of its motion so it is having motion so it has kinetic energy is called kinetic energy this is called k dot e so what is the expression for this kinetic energy we will take the same example to find the expression for the kinetic energy this is the body initially at rest a force is applied and the body will be in motion with a velocity from here to here this is initial position this is final position the distance traveled by the body from initial position to final position let us say yes so at this position its velocity is u while it is moving to a distance its velocity attained by v and the change in velocity with respect to time is acceleration and it has traveled to a distance of s so the physical quantities that are involved in the motion of this object in this straight line under the force f is initial velocity u final velocity v distance traveled s yes, and acceleration a so the kinematic equation of motion which relates these four is v square minus u square is equal to 2s the kinematic equation of motion which relates u v a and s which are involved in the motion is v square minus u square is equal to 2s let us say u is equal to 0 therefore v square minus 0 is equal to 2s therefore s is equal to v square by 2a this is the expression we got what is the work done in moving the body work done in moving the body w is equal to f dot s where f is equal to ma where s is equal to v square by 2a a and a get cancel you will get half mv square this half mv square is the work done in moving the body from one position to another position by describing all the quantities this work done is stored in a form of kinetic energy therefore ke is equal to half mv square so the expression for the kinetic energy is half mv square if you like this video please give a thumbs up
please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.